we have seen our drainage we have developed the profile of our drainage and at this point we have to split the drain in two parts one part of the drain goes from the highest point from here to the bottom and the second part goes from the highest point to the bottom on the right the first drainage from here to here it is around 300 meter long as a slope of 0.67 percent and the second drain from the top to here will be around 100 meter long and will have a slope of 2.02 percent at this point we have to create junction the best way to create a junction is to go to the location where you want to create a junction for example the highest point you right click on it you click on create point feature at cursor location and you click junction zero one it would be a new layer create a new layer and okay the name of the layer would be junction okay always the right projection look at the tutorial about projection if you don't know how to find the right projection now we have here junction 2 same way right click create point feature junction 2 zero 2 okay and the junction 2 is created and the last one would be here right click create point features and junction 3 at this point we have created three junction let's style the junction in order to make it more visible now let's see where else we need to create junction for the main drain around the site we can display again our watershed analysis that we have done in the previous tutorials we see the main water comes through this junction here and goes down there the water coming from the left is going to be drained by this drain and from this point this drain goes somewhere here so let's add one junction at this point we select this icon create point and we put the junction let's say here and this will be junction number four we use the same layer junction layer this one and okay now we can see something interesting if you go to the information icon and we click on the junction that we have created through the profile we can see that this junction have automatically received the elevation but if we click on this junction we can see that this junction has only a location but doesn't have any elevation so we can add the elevation to the junction what we do we display again the digital elevation model we select all the junction we right click on the junction we go to analysis measurement and apply elevation to selected features and elevation from the digital terrain model and we can replace them okay now the elevation has been added to the four junction we can cross check as well this junction has received an elevation hopefully yes 323.6 meter at this point let's redo our drainage with the right direction i take the icon of the line the first drainage would be going in this direction that's the drain one it will be a new layer layer would be called drainage 
okay right projection the second drain would be like that to junction four drain two the third drain would be from here drain three and then we will have a big drain from here going down drain four and the last one would be from here At this point, let's display the direction of our drain in order to understand better our drainage system. We double click on the drainage layer, we click on line style, use same style for all features. We can choose V tracks open towards star of the solid line, maybe the width 2, OK and OK. And now we can see here the direction of our drainage.